The U.S. Senate voted Saturday to acquit former President Donald Trump in his impeachment trial. In a 57-43 vote, Trump was acquitted in the Senate. Hours before the vote, lead impeachment manager Democratic Marilyn Rep. Jamie Raskin made a surprise request by suggesting a witness had come forward with more information about the jam. 6. Riot. The vote was approved after five Republicans joined Democrats to allow the witnesses to appear. Within hours, Democrats backtracked on the call for witnesses as there was an agreement that followed new information from Washington Republican Rep. Jamie Herrera Butler that Trump rejected House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy's call to demand that his supporters leave the Capitol during the jam. 6. Riot. The agreement made it so her letter and additional evidence was entered into the record instead of having her or any witnesses testify. After the agreement the trial entered four hours of closing arguments, setting up the final vote. North Carolina Senator Richard Burr Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy Maine Senator Susan Collins Alaska Sen. Lisa Murkowski Utah Senator Mitt Romney Nebraska Senator Ben Sass Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY, walks through the Senate subway on his way to the fourth day of the Senate's second impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump at the U. Capitol on February 12, 2021 in Washington, D.C., photo by Samuel Coram slash Getty Images, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer on Thursday left on the table the option of invoking the 14th Amendment to ban Trump from office if he was not convicted in the Senate impeachment trial. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said Saturday that he will vote to acquit Trump in his impeachment trial. In January, McConnell and a majority of Republicans voted in favor of Republican Kentucky Sen. Rand Paul's motion to dismiss the impeachment trial against Trump, saying it was unconstitutional. Shortly after, McConnell said that he hadn't spoken to Trump since December 15, as some reported that McConnell has said he does not want to speak to Trump again after the jam. 6. Capitol Riot in order to have convicted Trump in the Senate, Democrats needed 17 Republican senators to side with them.